Tony D and Little Joan and Little Truffle guest dog somewhere in the background. This is a screenwriter's rant on 1899, a new series from Netflix. It's kind of like the Titanic meets um, Aliens or, um, oh no, uh, what's that movie with Lawrence Fishburne about the ship that goes to hell? Event Horizon. That's it. It's Titanic meets Event Horizon. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's what? It's the Pioneers books 1 through 10. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So, all right. It all has to do with the Strange Triangle box. Uh, it's a Netflix series. The premise is there's a big ship like the Titanic. And it is on a on a cruise, and uh, they get a call from another ship called the Prometheus, and there's something very wrong. So they go to check it out, even though you know the passengers don't like that, and they go and they find the ship basically abandoned. Uh, they don't know what happened. Everybody's dead, um, but I think there's a few survivors, and they have this weird triangle thing going on. And uh, so it's a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Uh, the I don't know if it's like a Hellraiser box or what. Um, but uh, soon uh, they start towing the ship and start going back to port. And then soon um, people on their ship start to go crazy. And then there's this scene. They start to have weird dreams and stuff. So it may be, I, I'm not sure what it is. Let's see. Let's see if there's any uh, data here. On their journey across the vast and treacherous Atlantic Ocean, the passengers of the Corobus, Kerberos, Kerberos, encountered the biggest mystery of their lives. Welcome to 1899, a deeply immersive new series from the creator of Dark, which I have not seen. So, um, uh, let's see. Somebody says this is my highlight. Highest anticipated series on Netflix. Dark was the first show I saw on this platform. Still the best series I've ever seen. A true experience. I'm hyped for it. It will be, this will be a true puzzle like Dark. I don't know. I never saw Dark. Uh, maybe some of you in the comments can enlighten me. So when's this start? November 17th. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I like the premise. Um, because of the low tech version of basically event horizon. It's very similar to event horizon, except instead of, you know, being out in space and finding a spaceship where everybody killed each other, it's 1899. They're way out in the ocean there. You know, it's coal powered, um, you know, your 1899 technology right there. And, um, they are, you know, uh, a bunch of Victorian age people trying to figure out this whole thing. The the cast is a little little diverse for 1899, I think, but, um, you know, they can make that work. I, I'm not sure who the geisha girl is. I think she's on the other ship that they find. One of the survivors, maybe. I, I'm not sure how long of a series this could be. You know, but uh, it, it is very dark uh, in terms of the lighting and whatnot. I'm not sure what that is. That's something growing. Got all these weird things in this. It is intriguing. I, you know, the captain seems to be a main character and then various factions amongst the uh, passengers and whatnot. Um, I think the key with a uh, TV show like this is the payoff. What the hell is this? really okay so is this a dream sequence is this for real or are these aliens is it is it hell what is it so you know if i don't eventually get that answer i feel kind of ripped off and manipulated you know what i mean i don't want to sit there and get all these twists and turns and then have it be like ah we got to do a second season so we're not giving you any answers or all the answers we gave you oh that's all bs like i don't want it to end up like lost lost was that was the endless tease was lost. And my friend dragged me into that damn show 
And I said, this show is not going to pay off. It's not going to pay off. And I was right. Damon Lindenloff. Anyhow, now, one of the commenters says they, these guys did something called Dark, which I also didn't see. He says it's good. So maybe they did that and ended it. Uh, did, did anybody see Dark? Did it end? I'd like an ending, please. <laughs> like, there are ways. I'm doing it in the Pineys where you can end a story and still continue, you know, the characters. You know? In some cases, no. But a lot of times you can just continue the characters. Just continue them on. I don't, I don't know why people don't have that impetus anymore. That, that happened all the time back in the day, you know? You look at Sherlock Holmes, you know? Sherlock Holmes, they had a big ending, and then he had to undo it because the character was so popular. He, he just figured out a way, like, oh, Holmes survived after all. We thought he was dead. He faked his own death again. You know, something like that. Um, so, yeah. You, 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 there's always something you can make work, you know? Something to keep the characters going, even if you don't have the original concept. You know, when you run out of material, you run out of runway, you got to move on to something else. That's the problem, I think, with a lot of series. They they get into a pattern of like, well, this made, made the show a hit. We have to keep doing it. No, you don't. In fact, you kind of want to try to mix it up a little bit. Um... You still want payoffs. You look at the old Star Treks. OG Star Trek. You know, the show ended. Every every episode, the show ended, just about. And uh, nine times out of ten, it was fine. Like, once in a while, they had a show. It was like, eh. But uh, most of the episodes, perfectly good. They have an ending. You could have ended the series there. Um... Now, these days, everything's got to continue, 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 continue. You continue it. You can end it and continue it, too. There's an ending, but also, too, here's another adventure. You know, they could have gone another two seasons with the old G Star Trek if there had been, you know, if the circumstances had been different. So, with a show like this, obviously, this is limited, right? Because you have passengers trapped on a ship. They were only meant to be there temporarily. When you get to the end of it, obviously, they would have to get off. And you'd have to lose some of the passengers. At least some of them to make it semi-realistic. Um, but I'm liking where this is going. It feels very, uh, very kind of horror-y. You know? Very kind of H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, mixed with a little bit of that uh, Event Horizon. So, first act, they're on the ship, everybody's having a nice cruise. Um, the captain is the captain, and they establish all the characters. We'll later be on all these factions on the ship. Um, in the uh, first episode, they find the abandoned ship. It's all weird. Uh, passengers didn't even want to do this. So already the, the dividing lines start to happen. And they decide they're going to tow the ship. Um, now they're, they're worried about whatever happened on that ship. Maybe it'll be on their ship too. Some of the passengers survive or snuck over. Is there some sort of disease? Did it kill everybody? You know, it's all this rampant speculation. Then slowly but surely people start dying or going crazy and, uh, they're taking forever and they're having all sorts of problems trying to get the Prometheus back home. And, uh, you know, it gets longer and longer and then... I don't know, this crazy stuff happens. <laughs> Maybe they end up sucked into another dimension. I don't know. Um, and then the ending of it? I don't know. I want an ending, though. I want to know what the hell this was. So, will I get that? Fans of the dark? You tell me. Anyhow, that's it for me. Tony D and Little Joan. Guest dog truffle somewhere in the background. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. We got a news blast and a Hollywood hot take. I'll be at uh, Captain Blue Hens in Newark, Delaware on Wednesday from 11 to 3, and we'll see you tomorrow.